Coming up next, it's a strawweight matchup between Beck Rawlings and 12-gauge Paige Van Zandt. Born in Oregon and fighting out of Sacramento, California, Paige 12-gauge Van Zandt, a proud member of Team Alpha Male under the guidance of Martin Campman and also, of course, Uriah Faber, Chad Mendez, Joseph Benavides, and the other great competitors who train in Sacramento. She is one of the youngest females to ever fight in the octagon, and she has it all. She's got that X factor. She's a very aggressive fighter and a beautiful young lady. And she could very well become the next big UFC superstar. Beck Rawlings set to make her way to the octagon. She's coming off a great training camp, feels very sharp with her skills, and is really looking to impress tonight and earn a big UFC victory. This fighter is one of the best in the business at bringing fighters to the ground. Her takedowns are spectacular. She's so good at closing the distance and throwing fighters onto the ground. And one of her best assets is her ability to utilize all the different techniques of takedowns, whether they're throws or trips or singles or doubles. She can do it all. Our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. Van Zant is 21, Rawlings is 27. She is two inches taller. The rest is virtually identical. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the Duke. This woman is a freestyle fighter with a professional record of six wins, two losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Sacramento, California, 12-gauge Paige Bassett! And now, introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of five wins, four losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Brisbane, Australia, Rowdy! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Bergliata. Dan Bergliata, our referee for this right. strawweight battle here right. tonight in Rio Let's de Janeiro. And we are underway. Fight scheduled for three five minute rounds. White trunks for Van Zandt, black trunks for Rawlings. Rawlings with a solid leg kick. They have started this fight off with a brawl. Oh, solid jab. Nice combination. Looking for the takedown. Oh, my goodness, how quick was that, Joe? with a straight left. Able to just get out of the way. Rawlings gets the takedown. Excellent punch. Tries to pass, but doesn't make it. She gets in a full guard here. Under three minutes. Van Zandt with good work from the bottom. Back up. Nice job slipping the punch. What great takedown defense. Postures up. He tries to pass here but gets shut down. Moved into half guard. Nice. Really good movement on the ground. In full 
guard here. Excellent work from the bottom by Rollins. Van Zandt's looking to pass here. Back to full guard. Very nice. Oh, left hand. Really nice movement on the ground. And back to full guard. Van Zandt's got it back in half guard now. 30 seconds now. Van Zandt with a solid right. Van Zandt's back in half guard. Back up again. Good job. The flying knee. Great, no more That's the end of round number one. All right, three. Deep breath in for me. All right, listen. I need you to go out there, and I want you to do more of that. Let's... And here's a nice shot. Lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Ariani. You ready? You ready? Round two. Comes out swinging. Faints with the kick. Good connection with the straight by Rollins. Big roundhouse kick. Quick jab. Good kick. Look at this. Here we see the number of takedowns land. Oh, nice. Rawlings' right eye is starting to swell up. Van Zandt with the front kick to the body. Good combination. Beautiful right hand. Rawlings gets the single. A mount. Yeah, mount. Full mount. Not good. And full back. Some good ground and pound. Nice right hand. Rollins has got the full mount again. Big He's elbow. Smashed. She gets back control again. Good defense against the hammer fist. Now back in full mount. Nice work from the bottom by Van Zandt. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. She moves to full guard. Back to half guard. She's able to get the fight back to full guard. She's moved into side control. She's in north-south. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Attacking with the arm bar. It looks like she's got that arm pretty tight. And her arm is free. That connected. Oh, man. Clean hammer fist. Movement on the ground. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. In half guard. In the full guard. Round number two complete.
And here we see some beautiful submission offense here. Let's look at that from another camera angle. And let's see if we could get a better look at that from this angle. Jenny getting us set for round three. You ready? You ready? Here we go. Five minutes remains in the fight. Rawlings counters with the left. Ben Zant gets caught with a kick. Back up. She's down. She moved to southpaw here, right hand forward. Back and forth. Really missed with that right hand. The huge head kick is blocked. Drops down for a double. Posture's up. She's taking her back now. And the mount again. Oh, oh big right, right hand. hand. Yes. Nasty oh, big elbow. elbow. Oh. Big ground and pound. Oh, and it's all over. It's all over. Outstanding. Got the full mount, secured the position, and dropped bombs. Joe, here's the finish on our fight replay. And let's look at the replay and see the end of this fight. This is the huge ground and pound strike that lands for the KO. Let's look at that from a different camera. Check it out here. Boom! And that is all she wrote. And with the official decision, once again, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called the stop to this contest at 1 minute, 51 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, 12 Gage, Paige Van Zandt. Paige Van Zandt, winner by knockout.